In this A-level IB video, we're going to be looking at photosynthesis. Now, obviously, that is a huge topic. So just to let you know, this is the introductory video. So we'll just be talking about photosynthesis basics, because the problem is you can get so involved with various photosystems, what the electron transport chain is, etc, etc, that you lose sight of what it's actually all about. So this is simply an overview. So it's really only going to be very similar to what you learnt at GCSE or IGCSE level. So broadly speaking, what is photosynthesis? Well, it's actually the production of carbon-containing compounds using light energy, and the production occurs within cells. So it's the production of organic compounds, i.e. ones which contain carbon. It occurs in cells, and it uses light energy. So what is the summary equation for photosynthesis? Well, it's carbon dioxide, water, we use light energy. Without light energy, this process cannot take place. And we produce oxygen and glucose. And remember, it's that glucose which is our carbon-containing compound. So that first summary point, the production of organic compounds, really we're talking about glucose here. If we were to convert that to a simple equation, carbon dioxide, remember, is CO2. Water is H2O. Oxygen is O2, and then remember the formula of glucose, C6H12O6. You need to balance it now, and remember you need sixes in order to do this. So 6H2O6, CO2, and 6O2. Then if you were to double check your numbers of each element, atoms of each element, you'd see that they were the same on both sides of the equation. Now we're going to write a brief summary. So I'm going to divide photosynthesis into three stages. Firstly, stage one, carbon dioxide is converted into carbohydrates. This process requires energy. Stage two, we're going to focus more in on the type of energy. So the energy obtained is in the form of light. Now that light obviously needs to be absorbed and that's actually absorbed by photosynthetic pigments and I'll be making a separate video on those. And then the last thing to point out is that electrons are actually needed in order to convert that carbon dioxide into the carbohydrates. Where do we get these from? Well, it's a process known as photolysis or photolysis. So those electrons, I've already said, are obtained from a process known as photolysis. Well, what is this? Well, lysis means splitting, so actually what's going on here is the water molecules are being split, and that actually produces those electrons needed. And notice that when you split the water molecules, oxygen is produced as the byproduct. And that helps to explain our equation where we can see here that oxygen is produced as a result of photosynthesis. Right, that's everything I'm going to say here. In our Upcoming videos, we'll be looking at absorption spectra, the action spectra, the actual processes involved in photosynthesis, so look out for those videos because they'll be coming soon.